nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen Here we are Ready to rumble That's right This is where we stopped at for, uh, for the night. Very nice little quiet place. Nobody else in here. Very nice place to stop at. Lots of room. Nobody bothering Continue us. Continue on this road for 35 miles. I loved it. We had a good night's sleep. Now it's time to get over to our delivery place. On this road for 35 miles. We got 115 miles to go. And we'll be at our delivery place. I think we left a little early, not too much though. We're leaving at uh, 8.30 right now. We gotta be there uh, by by 11 o'clock so that leaves us a little bit of time but we also got to consider there's a lot of small towns and lower speed limits and all that fun stuff so uh, got to make sure we can still get there on time right yeah that's right Let's get down down the road and get those miles in. Hopefully we'll have a reload as soon as we get unloaded. That's the uh, million dollar question yet, if we will get a reload or not. We just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. That's all we can do, right? cold out here today either it's like only minus five so it's a lot nicer than at home we got the lake over there to the left yeah anyways let's get going and thanks for joining us today we got about 24 more miles and then we will be in uh Rhinelander doing our delivery. Yeah, looks like we'll be there quarter to 11. That was the plan, so we'd be there a little bit early. I already sent dispatch a message asking them if they got a reload for us. So far they haven't sent us nothing yet. But we do need a reload. Really do. There we go. We got the green light. We can get out of here. That has been kind of snowing on and off here for the last, I don't know, 45 minutes. Every once in a while it snow a little bit and then it disappears. Roads are a little wet. We need to use the windshield wipers. And then it disappears again, clears right off. That's okay. At least it's not snowing to the point where the roads are slippery, you know. Right now the roads are pretty good. They're wet, but other than that, it's good. Good traction. No ice underneath or nothing like that, so that's good. They're just in the back roads up here. A little two-way highway here. Or two-lane highway. Gorgeous areas though. It's really beautiful up here. We love it like this. People living right in the on the side of the highway here and right in the bush here. That's what I would love to do. Live right in, in a little bush like that. 
Anyways, we'll go down there and do our delivery and hope for the best. Alrighty guys, we have just finished doing our delivery. And good thing I guess I sent dispatch a message. They got back to me real fast. We got us a reload. We got 160 miles to go. And apparently that reload is sitting there ready for us. It's just a trailer switch. So that's good. I'm happy. We can go down there and get a trailer and start making our way home. That's what we wanted. That's what we got. Very happy about that. But I mean, we can grab our trailer and In start heading turn home. Left on WI-47. As far as we can possibly do today. That was the goal, so that way we have less miles to drive tomorrow. If the weather will allow us. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't think it weather would cause us too much of a delay today. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's snowing every once in a while a little bit, but not to the point where we can't be driving, so there we go. Now we're out of this town, pretty much. So let's put the hammer down and let's uh, go over there and do our reload or trailer switch. Alrighty, guys, we have just finished doing our trailer switch and now we're going to put the hammer down towards home. That's right, our load was ready. We sent in our paperwork. Everything is good to go. Now we just got to go to uh, US Highway 10. We'll take that across over to US 29 and that will take us over towards uh, Minneapolis. That's right. Yeah, I'm happy that it's working out so far. Might be a late night, well, not super late, but a little bit later into the night where we're gonna be driving, but uh, that's all right. Haven't quite figured out on uh, where exactly we can uh, stop for the night, but uh, we'll figure that out as we get along closer towards that. I just did the math and I can drive another six and a quarter hours. We got some time we can drive yet. So it's going to be 9 o'clock this evening by the time we're done driving. Or maybe even a little later. We might stop somewhere and fuel up yet. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe take a shower. Have a bite to eat. Get hungry. Let's get rolling. Well, 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 guys, it looks like the Smoky Bear has got himself a capture. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. He's gonna inspect that car, look for anything he can find. That's right. Well, we are just giving her. They're almost up to uh, I-39 right now. Yeah, that's right. We are just putting the hammer down as fast as we can go. Well, not really. We are not going as fast as we can really go. As fast as the speed limit will probably allow us. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, guys. We have made it up to Clearwater, Minnesota. Yeah. We are done for today. We had herself a shower up here. That felt really good. I put yesterday's video together now and now we're ready to go to bed. So uh, I guess without further ado, we won't waste a whole lot of time here today. We gotta go to bed and get up as early as we can tomorrow and hit the road again. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the little short video today though. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.